All right, boys and girls, round two, Merritt from thermal-medics.com. Actually, I guess it's round three. Hooking up our high side gauge. Here's my high side hose. I have this thing on the end, it's called a low loss fitting. High side can get quite a bit of pressure on it, so when you're disconnecting or whatnot, you wanna use these low loss fittings. They're gonna keep a lot of the refrigerant from spraying out and messing around and get your hands cold. Of course, I wear gloves, I'm a total sissy, I know it, but yeah. Climb around on some 100 plus degree roofs in Arizona and you guys will be wearing gloves too. Otherwise, your hands will become gloves real quick around here. Anywho. Of course, doing this with one hand is not a lot of fun, but let me go ahead and just get that hooked up. So we're getting our high side gauge hooked up here. <coughs> Meanwhile, you guys are all falling asleep. Merritt's got his high side gauge hooked on. Nice and snug, not over tightened. So we got our high side on the high side, low on the low side. We'll talk about that on split systems, how you know. Basically, the bottom line is the big pipe on, we're not talking about a split system, the suction line, the big pipe is your low side, high side is the small line, that's called the liquid line. That's how you do that. This one's nice enough to label it so everybody makes it nice and idiot proof. We don't have to go chasing lines down because it's a package system. Looking back at our gauges here, what do we got? Should I about the same as we do on the other one? Yeah, we do about 100 and, or 230 PSIG on that high side and that matches our low side gauge. Our gauges are hooked up, our manifolds are closed, everything's all tightened up, looking good. We can go ahead and get this system online and start taking some pressure readings to find out what's going on. So what do we know now? Yeah, we know it's got gas in it and we know it has R22 gas in it, which is exactly what we want to see. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and throw the unit on, take some pressure readings and uh, find out what's going on after we get this contactor unstuck and the compressor back online. All right, stay tuned.